deal with your gift, but we're going to deal with <clears throat> behind you. There are seven seats. And each seat has in it a person, a believer, in this church, in this local church. And uh, this, um, they have the gifts, uh, one of the gifts, and so we put the gifts in order. So we have prophecy, uh, service, teaching, exhortation, giving, ruling, and mercy. And so we have uh, each gift here. Now you're driving this bus, you go into the church function, so it's a local church function. And lo and behold, this front tire blows out. <laughs> blows out. You have a blowout. You have a blowout of the tire. So you've got a church problem. Now how are the church members, each one with a different gift, going to respond to that church problem? Right. So you're the driver. And you've got seven gifted people behind you. How are they going to respond to that? Well, using <clears throat> my interpretation of words and then the fuller context there, that's the way I look at this. So, uh, prophecy, of course, with Paul, and Peter probably had to get the prophecy as well. I mean, talking, talking, you know, always talking, talk, then think. The prophecy is going to be here, and the prophecy is going to say, since uh, sees good and uh, good and evil, things are either black and white, good and evil. You know, going to be straight shooter. He's going to say, um, you know, why did you endanger our lives without checking out the tires? What's wrong with you? There are good tires and bad tires. You should have checked this one out and give it to you. All right, that's prophecy. <clears throat> so uh, service, however, is going to say, wait a minute. I like down in the dust. I'm going to get out. I will fix the tire. And if I get some axle grease under my nails, so what? I'm down through the dust. I'm in the dust. I'm going to fix it. I want to fix it. Teaching is going to say, wait a minute. Before you teach, uh, <laughs> before you fix the tire, let's open the glove compartment. See if there are instructions on how to handle the jack, you know. <laughs> we, we want to read the instructions. I'll read the instructions to you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you from uh, the, the glove box instruction how to fix a tire. I'll teach you. <clears throat> Exhortation is going to come up to you and put his arm around you and say, "Okay, so be all right. <laughs> we'll get through this. I want to help you. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. We can rejoice in hope." <clears throat> Giving is going to say, "You know what? I know where you can get some good tires at an inexpensive price." <laughs> <laughs> Ruling's going to say, wait a minute, service. Let's get this thing organized. <laughs> Somebody's got to get the jack. Somebody's got to stop the traffic. You know, we got to have this thing organized, controlled. And Mercy's going to come up to you and start crying. <laughs> and uh, weep over this and this. And then once it's fixed, Mercy's going to start rejoicing. <laughs> All right? So seven responses to the church-related uh, problem and each one of them would be different but each one of them would be of great value and uh, <clears throat> and only the tire would be fixed <laughs> and you could go on but uh, <clears throat> to me this kind of simplified but it's an effort to show <clears throat> how I understand the gifts and what uh, we have going on in local church now 